Welcome back to the show. Thanks so much for joining us. Tiffany Bray and Brandy Mincer are here to ah. talk about a, a relief fund that's ongoing, I would assume. And, and tell us all about how this got how started. Yeah. Okay, well, actually, we work at CentOS and we were talking amongst ourselves and with our uh, general manager, Jeff Martins, about what we could do or what we could get starting mm -hmm. um, to aid in the efforts uh, for the people in Joplin. Um, we had collectively decided to sell these t-shirts. Um, we thought it would just be a way to, you know, it's like when you wear school team colors. You know, you're all rooting and cheering on the same team. So you're out and about, somebody sees you wearing the shirt, they know they're, right. they're helping, you mm -hmm. know. Um, so we just started getting the pencil to the paper and contacting a screen printing company and designing our t-shirt. We all designed it between the three of us. and. So now we're just trying to get the word out there and get them sold. Well, and when people see that, it, it, of course, it keep, it's in the forefront of our minds anyway, but it does bring it to light and, and people can think again, you know, constantly right. about, I need to do something to help, and this is one way you... It is. Uh, today is the, actually the one month anniversary for when is the tornado really? went it through, is. May 22nd. Wow. Mm. Uh, wow. And so mm -hmm. we, uh, I was looking up some statistics there were over 150 people that were lost, uh, that lost their lives during that time. It was the the deadliest tornado that's went through the area in 75 years, wow. through the United States actually. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and it looks just as devastating as it did a month ago. Uh, the just the area is just torn apart. So we wanted to do something, you know, to get. Have either of you had the privilege to go there and to help? I have not. I know there are some groups from here that yeah. have, and and I can't imagine the devastation. No, I have not personally just seen pictures and heard mm -hmm. stories of um, people in the community that have went, right. and it's just devastating, mm -hmm. absolutely devastating. Do, do you keep up with what, what the needs are there or, or how the progress is going on the, on the restoration? We did see um, on a website that they're just fixing to start a campaign for school supplies okay. um, because, of course, school's you know, going to be starting soon, and, right. and they don't have anything. Um, that's why we've chosen the United Way Fund of Southwest Arkansas or Southwest Missouri to disperse of it because they they have a list of many agencies mm -hmm. and corporations that they divvy mm -hmm. out the money mm -hmm. to, and um, so it, everybody's getting a piece of the pie. But it's all staying in Joplin, you know, where the needs are. So the you can most. direct that the funds where they need to go. Yes, okay. exactly, okay. and it stays local. You know, right. that's why we chose that location. Right. Okay. So, And this obviously is the front of the shirt. This Shop is the front right. of the shirt. And we actually brought both of you one yes. uh, to okay. have. Thank you. Thank you. Um, but the front just has Joplin relief and has the tornado on it. And then on the back, it has um, a picture of Arkansas, Missouri, Kansas, and Oklahoma. It says rebuilding homes, repairing hearts, and restoring hope. And that's exactly what we hope to do. Mm -hmm. um, they're ten dollars. Okay. They can be purchased um, at Centos, which is located on Industrial Park Road, or right there after the big bend right. going up towards the airport. Exactly. Um, you can call Brandy or myself. Um, there are order forms at Trends Beauty Salon with mm -hmm. a sample T-shirt there. And of course, I know several of the local businesses here in Harrison are serviced by our route salesmen, um, and they would be more than ha happy to take your orders as well. Um, okay, if there's, a, say, a business owner out there that would like to, like Trends has done, mm -hmm. an order form and a sample t-shirt, that's, that's Most yeah. definitely. Just give us a call. Yeah, okay. give us a call. We'll be more than happy to get that sample out to you um, and get you plenty of order forms. We'll pick them up once a week. We'll deliver. We'll pick up. Mm -hmm. We'll do whatever we need to do. Um, and what's the number done. that they can contact? They can call uh, Brandy Mincer or Tiffany Bray at 870-741-4721. Well, I commend you all and CentOS for, for your efforts Thank to you. help. With Thank the, you very the much for giving us the opportunity to get the word out. You yeah. bet. Yeah. Support us. And we w want everyone to support uh, the, the efforts that are going to be going on probably for at a least another, another year to, before they it's get back up on their feet. It's going to take them a while, yeah. for sure. Well, and I heard on the news today they're, like, trying to adopt out animals that, you know, are homeless now. And that's, I mean, even the people, the businesses, the homes are all in need, and even pets. Exactly. So. 
Well, thanks for your efforts. Thank you And for thanks for coming us. by. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. All right. Let's take our next break, and then we'll be talking with Anna Marie Sullivan. She's the events coordinator for the Harrison Regional Chamber of Commerce and also Patty Methvin and her sidekick in these uh, adventures. And we'll, they'll be talking about the fireworks extravaganza and some of the 4th of July events that are coming up real soon. Real soon. Stay with us.